Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made this nifty little weather station that gives me the time, date, temperature and a weather description. First up is our display, so this is a 2 inch TFT display that will be getting hooked into the microcontroller and this is where we will be displaying all of our data. Then we have our Wemos. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, Wemos D1 Mini. This is the our microcontroller, it's got an ESP8266. This is what we'll be calling the APIs and getting all of our time and weather data and then displaying it on the screen. This is our charging module. This will help me give power to the battery and also help me charge the battery in the future once it runs out of power. And lastly, here's our simple LiPo battery. It's 3.7 volts, I believe. Yep and this is what we will be using to power everything. So once I had all my components ready, I logged on to ChatGPT and told it exactly what I had in mind. So I told it I wanted to make a weather station that will give me time, date, temperature and weather information, the components I'll be using and how I plan to fit everything together. After a little bit of back and forth, I was able to get a sketch which I was then able to upload onto the microcontroller and then get everything onto a breadboard. So planning ahead a little bit, one of the things that I needed to consider when making the enclosure was how to mount not only the OLED but also the charging module. So I wanted to have an open port so that I could put my USB-C in when the battery ran out to recharge it. Now there's a couple of ways you can go about this. I opted for a very simple approach and this was using a 3M mounting pad, measure to size and then that will go onto the bottom of the 3D printed enclosure matching up to the open space with the USB-C and that means the charging adapter won't be moving and I can hook it up without any issues. There's probably a lot more elegant ways to go about this that are use more 3D printing but for this one I wanted to keep it nice and simple and you guys will see at the end it actually worked, actually worked really well. Once I was happy that the project was coming along nicely in terms of the electronics the next step of course was to go ahead and make an enclosure. So I hopped onto Fusion 360 and start off by just modeling mock-ups of the OLED and the charging module, the TP05456. Once I had those modeled, I made a case to go around it, made space for fixings, and made a slot for the USB-C to go into as well. And the design was fairly simple, probably could have made it a little bit more interesting, so if you've got any ideas on how we can make it a little bit edgier, a bit nicer, feel free to drop a comment below. But all in all, it was a nice minimalist design and it did the job really well. So then, after everything was modelled, it was a case of sending it off to the 3D printers to get made. So guys, here are the finished prints. You've got the main container here that will house all the electronics. And then a top cover to go on top there. And that's where the OLED will be mounted. A few screws to mount the OLED so it doesn't move around. And then this is where we'll put some M3s to hold everything together. These are some Mickey Mouse ears I got damaged while I was taking the print off the plate so I'm just going to go ahead and use my deburring tool. So that's that. And here of course are the assembled electronics. So you can see the clock there, microcontroller, battery and the charging module. So that's all going to go into place like so. And then this will go on top like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cleaned up and put together and then we'll see how it looks right at the end.
And here is the finished product, guys. So, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. It looks really nice and minimal, and it sits quite nicely when I put it down, either this way or flat on its back. And most important, it gives me all the main information that I wanted to see. So you've got your time there, date, temperature, and the weather. You just see it changing time there. So the way this is working is it's drawing time, date, and weather information from an API. And every 30 seconds or so, the microcontroller is refreshing that data. So that's why it's up to date. From a design perspective, it's exactly what I had in mind. Nice and minimal, nothing too flashy. And you can see here, if I zoom in a little bit, so you can see that is the USB-C slot to the charging module. So every time this runs out of battery, I can put it on charge without having to disassemble the whole thing. And that's a nice little feature. But otherwise, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. In terms of what could be better though, I made that mistake again of not measuring the bolts. And that's a little bit annoying. My intention was to have these nuts embedded into the print, so it's all flush. I didn't measure the bolts properly and therefore they're protruding a little bit. In this case, I think I got away with it a little bit. If I rest it like that, it's, it'll still have little feet there. This will be mostly sitting on its side like that. So yeah, that's, that, that's, that's something I need to be a bit careful of in future projects. But otherwise, I'm really, really happy with the way this turned out. So guys, if you liked this project, please consider liking, subscribing, and even some comments down below. I'm going to leave some links to some other similar projects that I've made if this is your sort of thing. Please go check those out and I'll see you all next time.